Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I made some latte art, even though that's not latte. It's cream in my coffee. What do you see? It looks like Pixie laying down after her haircut. All right, Pixie, lay down. Can you, can you lay down? Bang. Good girl. Yeah, that's it. And speaking of haircuts, I'm on route to get a haircut, if that wasn't obvious. Vlogger fair is happening in a survey! My parents should be here tonight. Imagine every stressful thing you've ever experienced in your entire life and cram it within the span of a few weeks. That's Chris Perillo right now. Here's my vlogger fair hairstyle. It doesn't really look any different than it normally does. And my official Vlogger Fair shirt has a camouflage Superman logo on it. I'm going all blaze orange with my best over that. White socks, Star Wars shoes. I don't know what color underwear I'm going to wear yet. I don't think I'm going to share that information. Thank you, Michelle, Doug, and Bentley. You've met all three of them in an earlier vlog. They sent this bath toy set for me. <laughs> They're looking forward to meeting baby Perillo, too. Odios. I suppose we better get used to them, huh? Mm-hmm. What flavors did you have? Of Odios? Mm-hmm. Plain. What does that taste like? Nothing. <laughs> Didn't sound very fun. It wasn't. <laughs> B is for a Boba Fett onesie. Thanks again, Michelle, Doug, and Bentley. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Boys and girls can be nerds. That's, that's a good thing. I'm happy about that. So is Diana. She's speechless. She's so happy. That's good because we have a midwife appointment coming up. The documentary is also airing tonight. 6.30 on traditional TV. And that would be the most recent documentary. We got a new bud. I thought this plant was dead, but it refuses to die. <laughs> I know. We don't even take care of it. <laughs> What's up with this butterfly? It's cute. It's the one Jasmine got me. Oh, okay. The flowers are popping out front, too. What happened to that one? You ready to see Noonie and Joe Pa again? That's the names for grandmother and grandfather. They chose them. Six minutes. Six minutes, give or take. I don't know if that's really how long it's going to take, but they're around the bend. Oh, I'm sure that's a given. I told my parents no wild parties this time. Parents just don't understand. That'll be us soon, you know. I'm not saying I'm going to be exactly like my dad, but it's kind of looking that way. I mean, really looking. I'm looking like my dad. Our parents are going to be together here in the next couple of weeks, aren't they? Yeah. It's been years. Hasn't it? Yeah. I think the last time we were all together in the same room was when you were still living in Texas. It was a while ago. 84 years. We were on our way for a routine appointment, but now Diana's gotten this bottled water stuck in her legs. <laughs> oh, hey, well that's good news. Ah, it's bad news again. <laughs> Yay, they put us in the pink Boba Fett room. Oh yeah. little punches and kicks and movements are getting stronger and stronger. Like stronger as in powerful. Like. And you've been feeling them all day. Mm -hmm. Next time on World's Wackiest New Parents, look at these two. They're sitting inside this little room making fun of decorations on the walls. I'm pretending to be one of those narrators in the shows, you know, and they have that certain tone, like, and then this happened. Uh-oh. I'd be good at that. So our heartbeat's about 140 beats per minute. That's great. Ooh, like way 
way under your ribs. Mm -hmm. Wow, you are like chock full of child. <laughs> Just way yeah, up there. I can feel oh, that. you poor oh. thing. <laughs> feel it down there. Yeah, too. I'm so sorry. That's okay. They said I had a perfect belly. I could have told you that. No. You're always going to have the perfect belly. But I wonder if they say that to everyone. <laughs> What do you think? I think you have a perfect belly. <laughs> oh. We're 37 weeks along and I asked, is she ready to go? She says, oh, no, no, no. It'll probably happen next week. <laughs> well, she said it could. It could. More than likely next week. Or there's more of a chance next week. The only thing we need now is a car seat and it's been ordered. Right? Right. No, be right there. Or right there. Guess what color it's going to be. It's funny, after people saw that Ty and Gray gave us a blue cap for the baby, everyone's saying, oh, it's totally going to be a boy. Well, blue is Gray's favorite color. Yeah. A lot of girls' favorite color. That's what I'm saying. Pink? Blue? Did you know that boys used to be dressed in pink? So, colors do not define someone's gender or sex or identity. We are probably going to be actively avoiding typical boy-girl colors. But... Wait, I can't see. Well, everything looks like it's still in one piece. Liana and Justin have given us gifts and some of them have fallen into the cracks. Do I get to open one now? You can open it all now. I'm small, but I know things. Oh, <laughs> oh placemats! No? Burp cloths. Burp cloths. Uh, so when I, you know, burp, I get, <laughs> and I don't get it on the baby. I don't think he notices. Look at that. No, I see Star Wars. There's Star Wars characters on. Look. Wicket and Admiral Akbar and a big wheel and Chewbacca and Darth Vader and a stormtrooper. That's awesome! That's so oh, she cool. Made it. You made this? Wow. Wow. You don't want to open this? You go ahead. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it's a, a woogie. I don't know what a woogie is, but it looks like I can talk to it. You put your phone in it so that the baby can play. Or you can, like, if you've got a video on it. So it doesn't toss the phone across the leg. Very smart. <laughs> you want to put your phone in there? Yeah. Really? When my parents wanted me to play with the phone, they just hand the receiver to me. And I had to hold it on my head like this. Yeah. Oh, yes! A blanket? Wow. Like a play blanket? Oh. You can put it in your play pan, you can put it on the floor. We were talking about getting one of these. Yeah. This is perfect. Do you want to open my birthday gift? <laughs> it looks like soap. <laughs> Really, it's kind of like the antithesis of soap. Oh, you gotta soap is this. It, which is volume it? is it? Or? This is the PAX edition. Oh, this is a special edition then. Special edition from last year's PAX. We'll have to play Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. With my parents. Well, that'll be fun. So this is our friend Liana. Thank you so much. You guys are welcome. Yeah, we love it. And thank you, Justin. Yes, Justin too. I have a feeling you're gonna use that blanket. <laughs> well, it's for the baby. I know, but you're gonna steal it. That's a possibility. <laughs> These are the only kind of green beans I think I'd want to eat. Fried and fried. You look so sexy when you tweet. I'm tweeting about you. Even sexier. <laughs> No, wait. That's not sexy at all. Mm -mm. You deserve for me to eat one of your pop pops. That's about all I have left. Naturebox.com slash Perillo. Snap them up before Diana does. <laughs> That's it. I'm eating your lentils. Mm -mm. They're all gone. What? Mm -hmm. Ate them all the first day. These will be gone tonight, too. You know what I just realized? What? <laughs> you know what I just realized? What? <laughs> I'm only going to be able to use the baby as an excuse for my cravings three more weeks. So I got to get all my cravings in. Hope you liked today's effort and we'll see you tomorrow.